I'll falter back. Some call it the home of champions. Some call it the world's fastest village. I call it the home of Angie. So when we got to Alfalterbach, all I could think is this is a real brand. This is real. They are passion driven, literally born out of racing and, and out of like the intent to keep going racing. And that's what aligns with race service so well. I love the, the history of the sport for so many reasons, but like the visual language of motorsport like makes my mouth water. <laughs> it's yeah, like, it's, absolutely. It's absolutely. just so cool. There's just something so special about such a, a simple sport, right? We're just, it's like primitive. Like it's like innately in us. Like we just want to be better, be faster. They took me through the engine factory and it's super beautiful and clean. There's no automation except for the tool delivery. They're trained to have autonomy, to be independent and in charge of your own engine. So the uh, one man, one engine concept is that each maker is in charge of that product. But at the end of each engine, they get their plaque that has their name printed on it already, actually. They get to pull their name out and stamp the engines. Right now we have a Pagani engine here, V12. I okay. also do the development for the Pagani engines and also for the GT4, GT3 and GT2 ah. engines. We had still the base engine, the 159, 6.2. But for the uh, actual GT3 car, we modified the engine. So we have a higher compression in the engine, we drive with different pistons, different crankshaft. So the development was around about two and a half to three years to make it reliable like it is. You very much carry the tradition on of the building and the development of, of the engines and where the origin of this company really, really came. It's pretty special. It's cool to see someone focus on such a craft now, I think, in, in a world where the, a lot of automation is happening, that, yeah. you know, it's the human touch at the end of the day that, that makes what you do special. It's all about the makers. It's all about the craft and care that goes into the products we consume. HWA stands for Hans Werner Alfrek, the A in AMG. This is like, this is every racing person dream. Like walking into a place like this and seeing like the machines, like factory race cars are like easily the most, like the coolest thing in the world, right? And then yeah. you see a whole like assembly line of factory yeah, race cars. Yeah, yeah. I walked in here and I was like, oh my. This is the North Star to the North Star of the biggest brand, most powerful brand arguably in the world. And it starts right here. It's like the passion yeah. behind the, why we show up at the racetrack and yeah, why yeah. We, we don't sleep for nights on end to get, get faster, why we crash to get faster, why we, why, why we dedicate our whole lives around a sport so we can get back in the car and drive again. To me, it's like one of the coolest parts about race cars is like the visual example of a function over aesthetic oftentimes, but it's a fine balance, right? Yeah, exactly. We always try to, to do best in both ways, performance on the one hand, but at the same time, just good looking car. Yeah. And that you can see in the details. You have no screws outside or something. Yeah, everything is like inside, but also still easy to change for the mechanics, easy to work with, and I think this is what our development engineers were really good in. This attention to detail of hidden hardware, it's, yeah. it's, it's how do we find the last tenth or the last hundredth and do that while maintaining this integrity. There's a real similarity between AMG Motorsport and Race Service in the sense of, of progression and pushing each other and, and the, uh, the same desire to improve. It's all about aligning with like-minded people to make our, our journey even even more fulfilling. And that's, that's why this is so exciting to us because we align so holistically on one side and, and on the other we have th the same desire to keep growing our sport but like ultimately we want to inspire people and we want to uh, help enrich people's human experience and in this case we get to do it with a really special car the gt3 rossbeck and a really special sport sports car racing so we're out here in the desert today testing at a track called Chuckwalla. The goal today was to really get up to speed and start to feel the car and the changes in the car and really just start pushing braking points and just really finding the limits of the car.
motorsports is all about pushing the limits. Um, and to push the limits, you have to find efficiencies in every everything. This car will become the raw spec. We're gonna be talking about raw materials. The art is the car. The value is the beauty in the product. This is a platform to tell material stories. For instance, Michelin will be on board and we're gonna tell the story of how they got into the rubber business and, and how that works for them now. And how, for instance, Oakley on the windshield uh, will tell the plastics and polycarbonate story and how they've innovated using plastics. In this case of the car, it will be in its raw composites forms. The next few months, we're gonna strip it back and reimagine it and bring it to life with a strong statement. We're calling raw spec. So stay tuned, uh, should be a fun couple of months.